today. We have very honored and blessed to have amongst us the senior professor, Nakira Naya. Welcome, Aya, today, today's evening uh, guest lecture. And I, I welcome each and every one of y'all who have uh, joined today and have uh, attended today's meditation. Thank you so much. I would like to give a very small introduction on uh, Nakira Naya. So uh, we have had uh, a pleasure of listening to, listening to this uh, um, uh, lecture, I think last month. So again, today we are here to listen to his uh, topic on, can we avoid anger and still be successful? So it's very short. Uh, he is the most senior professor and has been associated with uh, Maharishi. He's been in Sky Yoga past 22 years. And he has been working in Kendri Vidyalaya Sankhatan past 35 years and still working and has uh, awarded a uh, prestigious award for his work. Thank you so much, Aya, for accepting today's uh, program. Welcome. We extend a warm welcome to you. Over to you, Aya. You can uh, start the uh, speech today. So can I start, ma'am? Uh, Am I audible? Absolutely. Thank you so much, Aya. Yes, Aya. Yes. Be blessed by that, divine. By invoking the Shukma presence of Swami Vedatri Magarishi, let me first of all thank you all for joining this session and giving me the opportunity, especially Professor Balachandar Aya, who trained us for this uh, uh, yoga. And when he asked me to uh, take the class, it is an order by Magadishi. I treat it as it is because uh, there are uh, two topics headings suggested to me. Can we avoid anger and still be successful? The other one is avoiding anger is the success formula. Yes, uh, first one is suggested by our professor. The other uh, one, uh, the second one is suggested by one of the aspirant. Then uh, I told that uh, we'll have this first. We'll start. With, can we avoid anger and still be successful? Finally, we will conclude. Avoiding anger is the success formula. That is what uh, Swamiji has. Uh, told and proved to be a successful person having avoided anger because uh, once there was a, a session uh, for uh, uh, professors it is uh, uh, usually a training program and that day topic was uh, neutralization of anger so when uh, the chart was given to Swamiji, Swamiji today these are all the schedule, uh, these are all the topics to be discussed uh, and classes to be taken for professor. So when Swamiji gone through it, oh, today, uh, neutralization of anger, it means one who has avoided anger can only take this class. In that means you give me by 11 o'clock, I will come and take the class. What Swamiji said is, those days of restriction was there um, to maintain the health of Swamiji. He, doctor advised he, uh, that he should not take long uh, hours as classes. So he was restrained. Uh, for taking class. But somehow Swamiji always liked to meet the uh, professors and trainees uh, who are uh, there attending the class in the earlier Arivara. So Swamiji found that one who has avoided anger can only take handle the class. And uh, so you give me classes. It means Swamiji says that there are two things. When we are going to take a class means we should be fit enough to uh, take the class. And uh, when this uh, professor, uh, our senior professor Balachandra asked what topic can be discussed, I, I thought that it is better uh, in his presence, we should take this uh, topic so that we will get that quality. Because uh, when he used to take the class for us, every two minutes there will be a rumor uh, in Professor Balachandra's class. The people who are in the everlasting ecstasy can only uh, be very humorous, still meaningful and purposeful. And that is Professor Balachata. This is uh, this we could observe with the Swamiji also those things. And that is why I preferred this topic. Can we avoid anger and still be successful? And uh, why this uh, the word successful? If you are not successful in your life, then uh, uh, the life itself will be a waste. And uh, anger is the one 
would invade into the uh, success life of every people and at one stage or other it disturbs or it shakes or it totally uh, spoils the life and that is why uh, whether it is a family or whether it is an individual person or it is a country or the world anger is the only thing that spoils the peace that's what swami ji said and today it is proved with ukraine now we are all experiencing it and uh, then the question is can we avoid anger why we are not avoiding anger if you uh, think if you analyze in that point then we will uh, find out how can we avoid anger why we are not avoiding anger if we think that if we are angry and then the works uh, things will be get done easily that's what we think for example a child is not uh, taking proper food if you threaten the child child being very small in uh, uh, size and uh, we are very empty we may beat we may throw the child and the child cannot resist it so the child will eat this is what we think when we are not available and when there is a servant maid taking care the child will refuse to eat because of this angry that we showed on the child and spit it away out or cry or adapt some other form and the maid uh, servant may not uh, take that much pressure to eat and maybe she may she may eat that and go this is a small child also it is not worthy when you are angry and uh, i could see uh, in our farm field when i was young uh, even my father was there and on that day the harvesting day when the harvest was going on uh, my labor who, who is a father of four children that is three daughters and finally a boy it is a four month old boy with that uh, his wife and this person was working there some small mistake she did immediately this fellow slapped her on her face that lady uh, fallen immediately when she was lifted we found that uh, there was a blood uh, coming out from the ear and she was rushed to the hospital one month she was in the hospital and uh, finally she died this fellow throughout the life with these three children and one uh, uh, four month old baby in fact the life was a total struggle we imagine that the one minute anger unable to control spoil totally the life the other side he is an officer and a, a highly educated person with a full power and he has to go to uh, america now he has appointed a driver the driver uh, he gives a couple of thousand extra sir that is why the driver would be always available with him. that is his problem he is a crorebadi so he gives a couple of thousand extra then other what is a pay available say pay band is 15000 rupees for a driver means he gives 17000 but whenever his friends and others are there to show that he is very powerful he would uh, scold the driver like anything so that day also when he was to go for america uh, his friend was accompanying him up to airport and this person was scolding the driver like anything but the driver did not utter even a single word he was so quiet and calm and uh, throughout that uh, travel the owner or the boss was scolding the driver and driver was so calm then on returning after uh, seeing off see off from uh, the airport on returning the boss friend asked the driver see how you are managing your boss no doubt he is paying little extra but he is talking so much and unable to be here how you are bearing he said no problem sir he was scolding me and now he is uh, his, he alighted the flight for uh, america but his luggage is in the cargo uh, for dubai i loaded that in the conveyor belt for dubai so on reaching america he will understand by scolding me what what he is getting now he would suffer there is see this is a revengeful act one side in the extreme labor side the anger spoils the total life the extreme intellectual side the anger becomes a revengeful act and uh, wherever chance comes they are hit and these are two things externally happen what happen internally for the person who is getting anger 
that's what swami ji says you have to first think what happens to you valluvar the great saint already want but uh, we have not taken it very serious it is something like uh, the person who is uh, smoking a cigarette it gives him a, a very uh, outlook you know outlook he is a very rich person very a pious person serious thinker so he needs uh, a cigarette smoking all those things is uh, it gives but in the cigarette packet itself it is written smoking is injurious to him but it is ignored same way getting anger what would happen the great saint valluvar as long back told we all know the trikura that couplet in spite of that we ignore it but now swami ji scientifically explains what happens to you when you get anger and if you know that then we will say sir rest we should avoid anger then only we can be successful in life successful in life not successful in life will you be will you can you do your life that is the question if you get anger can you do your life to the full extent for example 100 years is your life span now with all those odds and other things the uh, average life becomes 70 years but in corona it is a doubtful uh, period but in spite of that can we live our life can we lead our life span so this is a question now and uh, swami ji explains it in a different way Uh, that is the speciality of swamiji so when we know that then we will think can we uh, should we avoid anger or not that is that will be a question at the end now so a person is so much uh, interested in halwa eating halwa especially in tamil nadu the trinelveli halwa is so famous for it. this boy who is a, a younger fellow in the home uh, was fond of halwa but the family being very poor his father could not give alwa whenever he wanted and as this boy grew completed his degree by the time the father expired now he is the family head the mother is a homemaker and her sister is there for him she is to be get married but on the first day of getting salary this fellow came home with 10 kg of alwa the mother was so much worried if you eat so you if you spend all your salary for alwa then how can you get your uh, sister back then the boy said no problem i will find a bride groom in the uh, trinal valley side especially an uh, owner of alva store if she is ready to marry then i will spend for her the sister understood yes if if you don't agree then we will not get married ever so she uh, readily agreed and then uh, there was a owner of an alva store was fixed marriage was then so from that day onwards whenever this person goes there he will be served with alva whenever sister comes to chennai this fellow belong to chennai from tirunelveli whenever sister comes then always alva will come this was the, the practice for 40 years after yeah certain period one day there was an sms to the sister nowadays a whatsapp those days swami ji said it is sms message it's a telegram message was sent to the sister to tirunelveli from chennai brother is serious start immediately that was the uh, message received by the sister immediately sister alerted her husband her husband rushed with a half kg alva with that through the flight they reached chennai and uh, they were rushing in the uh, car taxi to the brother house as the sister is stepping in the house by the time he, her sister in law was crying oh god waiting uh, that was uh, her cry it means what the brother breathed the last at that moment when the sister is entering but brother is lying in the bed now sister opens the alva box asking the brother to eat she is crying deliberately anna please have a piece of alva then go but will the anna eat the brother will eat no so swami ji question the anna body is lying there he is very well present there but he is unable to eat halwa he was the one who was eating kilo by kilo halwa why he is not eating now now all will say he is dead he what is dead person is there only his life force is away from the body it means so far who was eating 
the brother's hand was eating or brother's mouth was eating brother's tongue was eating no brother body was eating no it is the brother's life force that was eating through the body through the hand through the mind so it is the life force which is uh, uh, eating it means the life force rises from its normal level and that becomes like a desire when it is overpouring through the tongue as the saliva and the tasting it it was eating so whenever you are uh, eating means uh, with a desire it is an expanded life force the li expanded life force is the desire it means when you are having your desire means you are spending your life force now what is anger what is anger so we have arranged for a small picnic up to mahabalipuram you can say or if you are in all you can say that you are arranged for a picnic to walpari and a bus uh, has been brought and uh, you have rushed to the window side and you occupy uh, you put one of the towel or your bag in the window seat to occupy the window seat when you get into the uh, bus you see that your bag is shifted to the uh, other side and a fellow is already occupying the window seat will you bless him walga valamude your desire is to go through the bus at the sitting occupying the window seat because the scenery is so good you want to see it but say so fellow push to that your back and uh, he is occupying the window seat then automatically you get angry why you get angry when there is an obstruction for your desire it comes out as anger anger is the still powerful life force overpouring from the body it is overflowing from the body it is the life force and that comes as anger so first life force which is extended is the desire when it is overflowing it is the anger so i was uh, once asked to take a class for police officers and the inspectors training program where i told that a person who jumped from the upstairs in order to commit suicide what you will do what he was doing is attempting to take out his life force from the body when he is attempting to take up uh, life force from the body you call it as a uh, suicide attempt to suicide and you are booking in indian penal code whenever you are getting angry your life force is slowly slowly overflowing from your body it means you are taking out your life force from your body on which uh, uh, indian penal code can you book yourself and all the uh, profit in uh, in in addition to that your life force is overflowing out means it cannot be put back by any way the life force is such that it cannot be injected back just like if you milk the cow of a liter you milk it extra you cannot put back into the cow the same milk tomorrow i will take it is not possible or if you uh, if you are uh, removing the butter from the curd can you put back it to the curd it is not possible that's what siddha says the life force is of that quality you cannot put back thereby whenever you get angry you are committing suicide slowly slowly so you cannot live your life and this is what swami ji explained and that is what said by valluvar tannai thon kaakkin sinam kaakka kaava kaal tannaiye kollum sinam meaning thyself to save from the wrath away if not thyself the wrath will slay the death will be always with you committing suicide so whenever you get anger whether you are disturbing other you are making other one revengeful it's a different thing but you are dying yourself you are committing suicide yourself so now you think that can you be successful by dying it's not possible your achievement and all will be there but you will not be there so it is better to neutralize anger now can we eradicate anger it's another question swami ji says it's not possible because in the evolution theory the anger has mixed with the blood it is there in the chi it is because as long as uh, you are um, like a plant the plant has got no anger if you take a drumstick if you take a coconut the tree will not beat you it will offer itself till the one sense species we were only uh, sacrificing ourselves and no anger was there 
from the one cent species uh, the plant the worm curve. the worm the bigger worm was so angry uh, so uh, hungry wanted to eat a small worm at that time the small worm agitated and that mixed with the blood of the bigger worm from that day onwards from the two cents species up to the five cents animal they eat the other by killing and that has that the killing animal the suffering animal agitated that anger mixed with the blood and so it avoiding the anger is only possible eradication is not totally possible but can, can be avoid anger yes that's what this is worldwide people are conducting workshop to avoid anger where uh, it is only a formula and they pay the sessions but they may not be able to swami ji uh, quoted one example one man uh, got a stroke when he was taken to the hospital luckily said the doctor said you are getting angry because of that your bp goes high and that is why this attack comes next time if you get angry you will die so before that some angio to be done then 2 lakhs uh, is the fees this fellow really thought it is not possible for me to pay 2 lakhs but he came he wrote a book 100 ways to avoid anger and be successful that was his book he published uh, initially 1000 copy in his apartment itself uh, the flat people around 40 copies were sold in his apartment itself and uh, actually uh, he sold all the 1000 copies he went uh, for the surgery surgery was successful he was back people were saying oh the uh, author is in our uh, complex campus itself so they called for a meeting he thought it is going to be a felicitation program where there was a question and answer session and one fellow said when you get angry you go away from the place you wrote that was your 16th suggestion but when we get angry first i beat my wife my wife beat myself after that only i am running away from the house so it is not working out the another fellow says your 18th step was that when you get angry you come to 10 1 to 10 but uh, uh, we are not uh, able to remember it and first we bet beat or we get beating from the others afterwards counting what is the use so all these formulas 100 you have written nothing is working out it is a big cheating what is your answer for it that was the question this person said yes i was also having angry because of that i spoiled my health doctor suggested to undergo angio 2 lakhs is for the fees i wanted money so i wrote this book so that it will be a best selling book i can earn money i earned money i went to the doctor i got my surgery uh, now you are reading and telling that it is not working out what can i do for that he was angry he got angry now that is the condition of the trainers and the followers that's what swami says you may talk so much about anger but it is very difficult for you to avoid anger unless you choose any one of the two stages of your life span that's what swami says what are the two stages of the life span one is the initial stage or the final stage you have to be in that stage it means sometimes you may ask can i pretend to be ang- angry no swami ji never agrees with that you have to pretend to be in one, any one of the two stage or the initial stage or the final stage what is that initial stage and final stage swami ji says that you were there but you are not angry at that moment you should choose to that place or that state and if you can remain in that state you will be there but you will not be angry and you will be successful you will be able to save yourself you have to, you will be able to save your face in the society as one of the uh, wanted most wanted person if you are angry in the family you are not wanted you are not wanted in your office you are not wanted in the society but you will be named as a short tempered person whereas you are a, a, a loving person means you have neutralized the anger and that is what the stage now swami ji says that you have to choose any one of the two state and that training is only offered by world community service center is this we are only offering that stage where you are supposed to be pretend to be not pretend to be angry you should pretend to be angerless and when it is in your life span 
there are only two stages where you are anger free. What is the first stage? You are alive, but you are not angry. You can take your mother's diary and refer when she was pregnant that you are in her mother, your uh, mother's womb. Did she ever write that uh, my child was so angry today? Did she ever write when she was pregnant? No. You are alive. You are there in the mother's womb, but you are not angry. So now you have to pretend that you are in mother's womb. In that stage, your eyes are closed, your ear is closed, and uh, your tongue is closed. You are not tasting anything, and uh, you are not angry. That you can achieve through Thuriyam practice. When you are doing the Thuriyam meditation, it is just like sleeping without sleeping. Your consciousness is fully aware, awakened, but you are in the sleeping state. Your mental frequency in the sleeping state. But you are aware. That is Thungamal Thumbudal. In that period, you are not having anger. So if you keep on practicing it, the coming out of anger, you know, before that, you will understand if I get anger, what will be the outcome? What was my past experience? What was the outcome of the people who suffered with anger after getting anger? As I told the two examples, this will come so you will be able to avoid anger. That is, if you practice Thuriyam, if you can keep your mental frequency below 14, at Thuriyam it is 8, with a constant awareness. With a constant awareness, you are in the sleeping state. That was the state when you are in the mother's womb. And that is one stage where you are aligned but not angry. Now another stage is there, very, very uh, uh, crucial stage, very dangerous stage, but you will not be angry. One fellow is a very stout fellow, but he is a local rowdy constructive. Whosoever goes, he will beat. That was the condition. But all of a sudden, he is dead. Now, people are around him. Why? He cannot now beat because life force is gone out of the body. No doubt he is a rowdy. His body is there. But he cannot beat any person because his life force is out of the body. We have one stage where you will be alive, but uh, you are life force will be circulating in your body, but your thought will be beyond the body, that is in the space, that is in the Thuryadit state. The Thuryadit state, you are not aware that you are alive, but you are conscious. Your body consciousness is not there. Your consciousness is merged with the space, but still you are alive here. In that stage, your mental frequency is around uh, below 4, below 3, below for Swami Jiyadol it is below 1, but still alive. In that stage, you are dead, but not actually dead, virtually not dead. You are dead stage because your consciousness is away from the body. A dead person's consciousness and life force is away from the body. And in Thuryati meditation, when we practice, we are away from the body. If we can practice that kind of when you are alive, when you are awakened, we will be in the Thuryadit state means we will be able to realize what is the cause for anger. Whether it is myself or the other person. Even if it is other person, how can I get this work done? Why I should get anger? What is the other way to get the work done without getting anger? Thereby saving myself, saving the other person, saving the society. So we will be having that awareness still we will be able to get the work done and successful. So you can live your life without anger. You can make others also peaceful without uh, this anger, without getting anger. And that time only your life will be successful. So avoiding anger is the success formula. A successful person will be a person who avoids anger. Other persons, they may be successful but not all the time. But for an everlasting success in the life, we need to have a love and compassion because love is the only life thread which saves life. That's what uh, Thiruvalluvar says, Anbin vadiyadu uyirni lai. The life force, uh, the life thread itself is love and compassion. And when we have to adapt it means we should still practice the Turiyatit meditation. That is why in the introspection classes, Swamiji 
context is neutralization of anger class after initiating people to the duryatit meditation it means making them uh, in the dead state but virtually they are alive uh, but at the same time their consciousness is away from the body they will be able to experience an angerless state or in the turiyam you can experience a child like behavior where you can excuse any but our children excuse us that is why they call us appa amma and all even though we beat them or scold them children have lot of love and affection and uh, that stage if you go there is no worries or if you go beyond uh, the dead stage there is no worries so the eradication of worries and neutralization of anger for which the formula is either to be in the initiate stage like a child or to the final stage like a uh, a dead person but where the both stage we are supposed to pretend if you are able to practice the meditation that will be our real state and there will, we will be able to uh, lead our life very successfully it's a great formula and great technique swami ji has uh, trained us given us and uh, want us to spread it to others by practicing it constantly and proving to be an asset for the swami ji's concepts and uh, um, definitely today those who are all uh, joined in this class are going to be a successful persons in their life because swami ji's blessings will be there and uh, uh, our uh, professor balachandar jayanti amma their uh, a uh, constant guide uh, guiding and uh, other this technical team they are all fully devoted for swami ji and swami ji is with them it is a great uh, boon for us and blessings and definitely you will be able to lead successful life because one example i can say when the brahmagana class starts uh, jayanti amma used to start that uh, prayer all the classes will start with the, our prayer swami ji will be there she would start adiyanum paramparul mei elichi vetru that is the uh, song she would start on the day when we would be given uh, the brahmagana certificate that day she would start the prayer aluttam enum undatra it means padam adaindom ondranum paramanandam still i uh, i am able to remember so jaydiyamas the song padam adaindom ondranum paramanandam we have got seasoned now we become one with the everlasting um, almighty where swami ji always there in that stage we are merged from where we emerged that song madam used to sing so it is like a, a mother with a child when the child is speaking uh, small small words mummy would also speak small small words when the child is grown up and talking about economy and other things the mummy would also talk to that standard this is the way with the brahmagana uh, training people uh, jaydi amma used to be there professor balachandra used to guide us this is the way we have been brought up and now they are doing it in the virtual mode and i take this opportunity to thank one and all for uh, having joined this class and listened to this small lecture uh, thank you one and all be blessed